Hi, I'm Louise Fraser. I'm an Associate Director at Illumina and I work in the Advanced Science Group within R&D. Um, I'm the project lead for Constellation and today I'm going to give an introduction to Constellation Map to Read technology. Um, I'm going to show you how this new innovative technology works um, and what it can deliver. So if there's one thing to take away from this presentation, it's that uh, Constellation Map to Read technology delivers two things. So firstly, it delivers our most comprehensive genome yet. Um, and in this presentation, I'm going to go through some examples of where we see big improvements in terms of small variant calling, large structural variant calling, and how we can use this data to phase large regions of the genome. And then secondly, Constellation delivers unprecedented workflow simplification. And that's because in Constellation, we've put the library preparation steps onto the sequencing flow cell, which means that upfront library prep is completely eliminated and the input to the sequencing run is simply purified DNA. So this image on the right hand side of the slide describes how Constellation works. So we take a, a NovaZeq X flow cell and onto that flow cell, we immobilize transposomes inside the nanowells on, on the flow cell surface. And so in this image, you can see those immobilized uh, transposomes indicated by these, these small black squares inside the nanowells. So this is very different to a standard Illumina library prep where these transposomes are normally immobilized on beads. So the library prep can be done in solution in tubes. Whereas here we put those transposomes uh, onto the flow cell surface. So once the transposomes are immobilized on the flow cell, uh, double stranded DNA can be introduced to the flow cell. And in this figure, the double stranded DNA is indicated by these different colored lines. Um, so the, the DNA flows into the lanes and the DNA sits down onto the surface and sits down onto these immobilized transposomes where it becomes captured and tagmented. So that DNA becomes covalently linked to the surface of the flow cell. And that then becomes the starting point for standard clustering. And so it starts to become uh, intuitive that uh, sequence information that comes from neighboring nanowells um, can then be correlated back to the sequences that are neighboring on the genome. And so this, this proximity information can be used bioinformatically to construct uh, the more comprehensive genome that we can deliver with the constellation technology. So this is another way to look at what I've just described. Um, so the, the figure here is a side on view of two nanowells on the flow cell surface. So, so what happens in the constellation workflow is it in the first step, the user introduces unfragmented DNA to the flow cell surface. That DNA becomes captured down onto the nanowells um, and it becomes tagmented. Um, then the next step is to proceed into standard clustering and sequencing. So that results in standard clusters from which we can do standard paired end sequencing and generate standard uh, Illumina short read data uh, with the quality that we normally expect from Illumina short reads. But then what the additional information that we get with Constellation, is, as well as getting our short read information, we also get that uh, association or proximity information uh, where we know that the position of the clusters on the flow cell surface corresponds to the position of the sequence information on the genome. And so we can layer that association information on top of the standard short read sequencing to deliver the more comprehensive constellation genome. Uh, and we do that bioinformatically uh, using a new pipeline that will be enabled uh, using Dragon secondary analysis. So this figure was generated from some real constellation data, um, and it shows how uh, associated neighboring clusters are, are reconstructed bioinformatically into an interspersed version of the original DNA template molecule. So here, each colored spot represents a read pair deriving from uh, a single cluster, and the lines between them indicate uh, predicted connections between uh, the clusters based on a combination of flow cell and genomic proximity. Uh, 
So the, these connections are derived from a proximity model um, that we use that provides a measure of the confidence that two reads nearby on the flow cell are also nearby on the genome. Um, so this, pro this property is unique to, to constellation technology. Uh, so we don't observe these connections in, in any of our other um, NGS assays. Um, and this proximity information enhances uh, mapping, uh, variant detection and phasing. And I'm going to show you some of that on the next slide. So here I'm showing examples of where we see the benefits from constellation technology. So firstly, on the left, uh, using constellation map reads, uh, we're able to resolve mapping ambiguities. So this example is uh, the PMS2 gene. Um, this is a clinically relevant gene associated with Lynch syndrome. Um, it has a pseudogene, which has got a very high homology. And so it's, it, it's difficult to map reads to this region um, due to the ambiguity of, of mapping. Um, but we can see, and so, so we see in, in with standard uh, whole genome sequencing, um, there are some gaps in the coverage across this region. Um, but with co constellation mapping, um, we can achieve improved coverage across this region um, by recovering those reads that would otherwise map ambiguous, ambiguously and so would be thrown away. And so now we can start to call variants across this region. So secondly, with uh, Constellation, we're now able to achieve uh, ultra long phasing blocks. So with, with standard short read sequencing, we, we cannot phase at all. But with Constellation, uh, we can actually generate uh, megabase long phase blocks, um, which help, enables us to phase pathogenic variants. And in, the, in this figure here, I'm showing that if, if we use DNA that has been extracted using standard methods, um, we can generate uh, very large phase blocks um, up to about a meg. Uh, whereas if we use uh, high molecular weight DNA extractions, uh, we can actually achieve much bigger phasing blocks. And so it shows that the more intact the DNA is going into the flow cell, the bigger the phase blocks that we can achieve. And then lastly, with Constellation, we are also able to detect large structural events. Um, so this example is the F8 gene. This is associated with haemophilia. Um, so here we're able to clearly detect the F8 inversion that's in this particular sample. And we use these co-location plots. So in, in a control sample, we'd expect to see a, a, a clean diagonal line here indicating complete correlation between uh, the flow cell distance and the genomic distance. But in this particular sample, which does have um, a large structural inversion, uh, we can clearly see these, these bow tie like uh, signals coming away from the diagonal and that indicates that a large structural event has occurred. Um, and we're able to, to detect this without the, the need for a, a targeted caller. So we can achieve all of these benefits to the, the completeness of the genome with, with constellation that I've just described. Um, but we can also do this um, with a very, very simple workflow. Um, so shown here is what the user would need to do to complete the constellation sequencing run, uh, starting from a purified DNA sample. So users would be supplied with three frozen reagents indicated by these three colored tubes. Uh, two of those reagents get added directly to the sequencing cartridge as indicated here. Um, and then the third reagent is used as a, a dilution buffer for the DNA samples, which would then be added to the, the library strip tube. Um, this all gets loaded to the, the sequencer um, and that takes about 10 minutes of hands-on time. Uh, so once it's all loaded, the rest of the workflow is completed by the sequencer um, and the analysis is completed um, through Dragon. So um, it essentially eliminates uh, all of the upfront uh, library prep. So just to conclude, uh, Constellation Map Read technology delivers these two things. Um, one is the most comprehensive genome that, that we've, we've ever done at Illumina. Um, and the other one is that it, we, we have this unprecedented workflow simplification. All right, so, so thank you very much for your time.